I hope he may, might be able to do 14-1 as we, we had on the, the, the last pages. And maybe the 250 meter runs is maybe the best. <coughs> that was what he did the last training session before Osaka, before we went to Osaka. He ran a, a 250 meter in uh, Nagano at 24.86 and I think if we, if he done the 300 meter there, it's around the so It's a hand time now. On first foot. Yeah. I think you saw the race. Mm -hmm. It was a high point. Yeah, I think I got And the strength, we measure it by the muscle of system. And uh, this is the drop jumps figure. And uh, uh, if, if, if we look on uh, the belt legs, 133 uh, butt per body weight. Uh, 2006 or 2005, it was just upper. So it had yeah, improved a lot. And uh, if you measure left and right legs, so you have a little difference. We have Worked a lot of that, but we have not uh, tested it so much before we tested it once a year. Oh, look, that's the training weight look for us. We try to make the best for the athletes. And uh, we have the ability to train indoors every day. And we are almost alone in, in the facilities all the time. Not every evening, but, uh, but anyway, we have uh, done it so it will fit us very good. So uh, Monday morning is uh, some aerobic runs. And this is due for this year. This is the 11th session a week. Before we train 10, 10 times a week. And we all always have the rest on Monday morning because uh, Monday evening is the most important sessions a week. And I want them to be really uh, recovered when they arrive to that training. That is acceleration, frequency, resistant runs, sprints, and sprint endurance. But for me, that is the most important session this week. The second most important thing is uh, Wednesday evening when we're doing uh, endurance, endurance runs for uh, 400 meters. So it could be runs between 150 meters and up. Tuesday, Tuesday morning with the human strength. Evening, aerobic intervals, uh, just to recover after Monday. Monday is very hard. It takes hard on athletes. It need recovery. We also have explosive strengths in the Tuesday morning, so they need uh, those intervals on, on this evening. Wednesday morning, some uh, flexibility is our hurdles. <coughs> this year we have changed. Before we did uh, hurdle skills uh, as a strength training, but this year we're doing so much other training so we can't. Uh, put this over and uh, uh, doing so much stuff. So we're doing is it like the flexibility, like 45 minutes, and after that some stretching. They have uh, their own uh, uh, recovery. Joan is very uh, stiff in the upper body, so he need to do lots of things. They also have bad feet, so you have to do something to that. It's, it's not very flexibility in the back. Actually, it's really bad when giving flexibility. 
So you do maybe an hour in that. And then the second most important, Tuesday, when we have six quite the hard sessions, we're having one day, not off, but uh, we have two training sessions, but they are not very hard. Prehab, this is some kind of rehabilitation. Uh, some, some exercises they get from the physio and uh, they have their own program, so just for them. And in the evening they will distance runs. It could be one hour, 12, 12, 12 kilometers or something. Friday, really hard. The special strength, I call it, is uh, <coughs> the most the important uh, strength session in the week for me. It's uh, medicine balls, it's uh, persistence, uh, it's lots. i show you some, some um, film on that paper. And uh, in the afternoon, every second week is normal strength and every second week is uh, endurance strength. And Saturday, uh, aerobic runs. Yeah. At the moment it's uh, hills or distance runs or sprinters or something. That makes 11 sessions a week. Okay. Yes. Do you have the difference between spin foot holiday and snap head Yes. Yeah. yeah. In Sweden we have some terminology uh, to say sprints and euros <coughs> is the allocated runs up to uh, maybe 150 meters, up to 15 seconds around. But that is mostly 60 meter runs and uh, back and forward runs. And uh, speed endurance Wednesday that uh, is maybe from 180 up to 500 at the moment. So that is the 400 meter training. And at the moment it is just once a week. When we get further, this day will be the same like this. So they do two times a week. When we go into the South Africa and so on. But it's lots of training. And uh, it also says that you can't work full time. You can maybe work a few times a week. Um, you can study full time if you're going to do 11 sessions a week. And most of uh, those I sh show you before, it's only two of them who study full time. And it's uh, your base is studying for some master, and uh, one of the girls, uh, Helgis, is studying full time. But she will uh, have that time from from the Christmas uh, Yes. How does the year look like? It's not, it's common. It's not very strange. We work three weeks, like they're building it up, but we're doing hard, 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 and little less hard. So um, that is uh, three times four weeks during the first uh, basic period. I also have put in, this is also for yeah, those figures is for the Olympic Committee because they want to know what we are doing. Uh, we always have one uh, period when we speed up a little in uh, South Africa, three weeks before indoor season. Quite a lot of uh, training, 10 to 12 sessions a week. During, set, after that uh, competition, and later, same system again, but we don't, uh, and we just have the time for eight weeks of basic training. 
then a new uh, framing camp, and after that it's uh, competition again. We always uh, have two or three weeks when we are peaking, doing a little more training, not uh, so much competition. The com there could be competitions, but the competitions are like a training. Uh, if we are, for example, having Swedish championships, I put them to run a 300 meter just after they have reached the goal. So people would think they are doing some uh, to, to show themselves. But uh, we do this as a training. So this is how I built the year. It's not uh, very unusual for my I tried to have the peak with speed in the first competition period. This was in Istanbul, uh, 200 meter European Cup. This was a little too windy, but it was uh, quite a good race. Here, uh, Beijing, and then Yaron has uh, injury here somewhere. Ah, this way. Yeah, it was in this race. So after that, he did not compete in three weeks. So this year was a little unusual. Okay. The runnings. I have two, two types of runnings. It's the sprints, as we talk, talked about. I like 50 runs. 60 to 150 meters. We never do the flying 30 because if you are running a 100 meter maximum, you have some, some, some uh, in, in the middle somewhere you have a flying 30. So it's better for me to run 100 because then I get more meters. Last year we did lots of sprint endurance between 180 and 350. This is the figures so that we're going to change the next few years so we're going to run some, very few, longer races. Not so many. We're also doing aerobic training and hill training once a week during the basic period. This is how it looks like. I think you have one of those uh, schedules. It's like I showed you before, Monday, frequency, accelerations, resistance runs, and 60 meters runs. Uh, In the beginning it's not so, but we're doing lots of 60 meters, quite fast. 95%, week 7, 47, 98% could be 6, 2, 6, 1, hand, hand five, first foot. And always uh, after that we do with some uh, sprint and neurons. This is uh, 4 times 60 plus 60, 10 seconds squared. And every second week is uh, like this, maybe three times, four times, six, fifteen seconds between the, the six minutes. And this is really hard. If you do that in the maximum speed or almost maximum speed, it uh, hurts a lot. How much the speed got down to the last one? When we ran this uh, Monday, they had 6.2 and 6.5 on the first run here. Of course, it's slowing down a little bit, but uh, it should be quite close to the first one, because I want them to be tired. Okay, that's Monday. We're doing lots of acceleration. It could be yeah, like this, pretty reduced. This is probably standing accelerators. Uh, four weeks and three points. From uh, three points. We, actually, we never do dog starts because they're worse. Well. 
one is the two and the meter landing as well, but we do that uh, on the training camp in the spring. That's that's all we do with both stars. Maybe that's also because it's really bad on the acceleration. <laughs> okay. Uh, second, uh, most important thing is this one. Could be eight runs. Not very long. 240, 200, 180, 150s. But it's short, short rest. Five minutes rest and eight minutes uh, zero hours. So this is really hard. This is really what you are doing with it. You can uh, get away from the training and not feeling anything. You also can be uh, quite tired. Like I want them to have maybe like the race to two or three places last runs. But we're trying to push the to push uh, like the race before us. Maybe to increase the speed all the time. And this is hill and the other type of runs. This is 200 meter walk, uh, then walk, 300 meter walk, 200 meter walk. Yes, you said, you said in summer that uh, uh, when you were younger, you still used short recoveries like the five. Yes. But he, he was uh, running slow yes. at those times. Yeah. How long it took to reach those project days? 1995 <laughs> <laughs> so in this period is two important days of rise. And this is some easy uh, intervals. Uh, maybe uh, the the frequency the one of the eight It's not very hard. And this is so thirty minutes. But you have the so figures on the side. Uh, the first period from week 40 of Tangrat. Sorry, language testing, 85%, 6 to 8 runs, uh, six, 6 to 10 races. It could be 10 times 200 of You have it on the schedule. Period 2 from uh, October, middle of October. No, November. Middle intensity, 90%. Eight races normally. Could be six races in, in the recovery week. Uh, period three, 90 plus, not, not uh, really 95%. It, it's, it is hard to say. The athlete has to get the feeling how, how they're going to run those races. And uh, this is what you have to, to uh, talk with your athletes. How do they feel? It's also up to eight races, like you saw, so on. on. <coughs> when we go down to South Africa, we move up to somewhere between 95 to 98 percent, and there will be three races. And during competition, it's one to two races. We never do more than two races. And then they go on really fast. Yeah, this is the spring. And um, this is maybe more interesting. As I tell you, it's about three races, sometimes four. And uh, recovery is still not very 
about the runs, because the runs maybe is the most, most important thing for the 400 runs. My question is about technique, should I question it now or later? No, we can take it now. Okay, fine. Uh, is it possible to, to move back to the first, first slide? Just, just first. 
completely first. Yeah, completely first. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Yeah, that one, that one, that one. You said that, yeah, you said that uh, you run, run with very good technique. Yes. And uh, I think uh, it, it's, it's so. I like this technique. He's, he's, he's running uh, with, with a long, long stride and a bit uh, high, but still, you know, low. Yeah. A long, yeah. uh, long stride. And uh, uh, some later I would like to ask you about what you try to to, uh, to stress in your technique training. But yes. I was, uh, <coughs> that's, I was why we, that's why we are, are talking about the strength. <laughs> Everything in strength is about uh, to, to, to get the full stride. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, we, we can talk uh, a lot about uh, about stride, how it's how it's working. But I would like to to, uh, to put a question about one, one thing. Yeah. And uh, we all know that okay, when you rise your knee, when you rise your knee, that's okay. Yeah. And you know that uh, you should uh, like like rotate, yeah. have good turnover. But what about that that ankle ankle <coughs> and, uh, uh, in 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 the first leg? And in about the leg, what is rising the knee? Yeah. Yes. First, first one. Yeah, yeah. I mean ankle, ankle. Uh, how do you think? Is it when is ankle is uh, is is uh, oh, below yes. below the hip? Yeah. And uh, I mean, uh, okay. The next one is like uh, like the final one. Final one. Any the oh, here. No, no, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. like this. When, when his ankle is below the hip, and uh, second, when his ankle is moving down. Yeah. Uh, is it, is it uh, relaxed or tense, or is it in the right position, and what is the right position for, for ankle? What I don't know mean? if I really understand what you mean. <laughs> my, my, what I am looking for in, in, in technique, it, it, it shall not have those uh, movement. The hip will also be like here, and push like this, and high knee, especially on the last 100 meters. Okay. I never uh, look uh, exactly the uh, angles of, uh, of that. <coughs> More look how it looks like. If you understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. correct. Well, yeah. uh, please, uh, now if, if you now have a look on the ankle, yeah. is it relaxed? Is it tense? Here. Uh, yes, here in that one. He is uh, quite, quite relaxed here. I mean angle. Yeah, I, I know about you, man. Uh, yeah. let's, let's talk about angle. Is this the angle relaxed or tense? I don't know. <laughs> okay. uh, how does it should it be should it be uh, dorsiflex? Relaxed? Yeah, I, I try to have some uh, tension here before they hit the track. Uh -huh. And what about the position? You look here. Yeah. If you have the uh, tension here and hit the ground, you have a more quick uh, ground uh, touch. Yes, yes. What about the position when your ankle is below the hip? Should it be tense, dorsiflex? Or... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for it, for it. One was to 
increase more runs. Because if I, if I say today we have three power races, but we also have some technical races. So the dad led, uh, did not think it's, oh, it's five hard races today. So <laughs> we started to do those technical races just for acceleration, flowing, and speed up in the end of the curve. So there is what we have been looking, lots of techniques. Filmed a lot in, uh, and uh, analyzed in uh, uh, dogfish. Okay, strength training, legs, uh, I don't know, but that is also one of the big difference between the 80s. In the 80s we did lots of uh, weight training with heavy bars and uh, as you know a heavy bar is not moving very fast. Now we're not concentrate on, on the weight on the, the bars because it's so far away from running so we are concentrate on the speed on the bar and we always measure uh, but not the, how much weight you have on the bar we're doing normal squat deep squat uh, this one we're doing it four times a year. Normal squats, both legs. Rest of those squats here is one leg squat. And the first one is one leg deep squat. Second is half <coughs> slow down, fast up. And the second, third is fast down, fast up. So it's during the training uh, period. So this is what we're doing for the legs. We're also doing cleans from the knee, not from the floor. And uh, ankle jumps. One leg uh, and also a hamstring. Let's see how it looks like. I think you have a schedule for this one as well. Yeah. I'm going to have uh, a speak like this a few years ago and I was thinking what are you really doing in uh, the strength. You know, I put up the schedule like this just to see how it ended. And uh, what I told you before, those deep sports just five weeks and after it's going to higher and higher quality and we are not trying to have as much as possible on the bar we're trying to move the bar as fast as possible instead I don't think we need to, to discuss this more I have some film I want to show you instead of Do lots of uh, cleans, trying to have really high speed on the bar. This is from this is uh, actually the period in November, December. We're doing normally three or four. For a few years ago, we did one repetition and trying to to have very heavy on the bar, but. It goes very slow. Oh Everyone <laughs> is uh, quite strong in uh, cleans. For sweeps, you're doing 125. No, 132. I think this is 80 or something. I don't know. But we're trying to have a high scale as well. This is uh, one play, half squat, full speed. 
not very much on the bar, maybe 120, maybe. <laughs>
trying to as fast as he can up and down, down and up. So, uh, I always wonder if we are training on the wrong way because I never see other athletes doing our uh, exercises. <laughs> This is the, the most important exercise during thinking. This is, uh, <coughs> what I said, running, uh, uh, muscles range. It could be different uh, exercises. And we try to keep it up in uh, quite a high speed and it makes also lots of uh, uh, <coughs> outright suppression. Lots of 
Normally we have four different exercises here and, and uh, always uh, some uh, fast uh, exercises in there. Some feet, well, so. Lots of jumps, single leg jumps. Most of the exercises is for uh, stride frequent, uh, stride uh, length. Most of the arms, I don't know what it is. Thank you. 
As a conclusion, for the 400 meter runner, we have taken down strength a lot to increase uh, more runnings. And more runnings has been more aerobic runs to, to uh, you can uh, have short, short recovery between every session. That's the main goal for, for the aerobic runs. And um, so far it has worked uh, very good. I don't know how long it can take before we had to do a new session, maybe <coughs> half a year, a year, with uh, more strengths. I don't know. But a lot of, uh, especially American guys who uh, never touch a bar. It just run. Uh, questions? Have you followed the cases in the right thing during these years? Yeah. I don't test the bunch. My, my only test and uh, I timed races. I uh, watched these figures in uh, the strengths. I haven't uh, measured the strength. I've heard uh, many crazy stories about uh, Johan's aerobic capacity that he could be as, uh, as good as Musse could be in 200 two kilometers. No, I don't think that. <laughs> the story was that <laughs> in uh, Was in uh, uh, but Christian was very bad in the pool ball, and he was uh, going to punish himself to run the three kilometer race. And he asked uh, Johan and Mustafa to enjoy him. <laughs> so, uh, Patrick, he was the, the speed maker, and uh, when it was 1500 meter back. It was free space and kill on the base of Musa. But he is good, he can run at 10 km and 35 minutes. 35 minutes, yes. We've seen you being captured. When they make my fist stop, I will pick up my rock. Okay, I'll ask you shortly, please. <laughs> Uh, yeah. If I if I understood right from from the programs, yes. uh, you are not uh, you are not doing uh, fast work with with, with long uh, long uh, rest times. And no. as, as I see Monday, no. as I the longest see... rest is I think uh, about twelve minutes. Huh? Twelve minutes between races. That's I think two the... two or. Of course, you can always say that uh, you don't develop the speed 
but uh, I think at the moment he has the speed as I want. He can probably run 2010 in the very good conditions. So I'm not, uh, I, I don't have to uh, dimple out the 60s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you said you, you have been training human for a long time. So yes. Since 2001. Yes. So the, my question was, uh, how long did you go you, you, uh, you made a session like maybe in, 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 in the 60s? Yes. With a long rest just to improve just speed. It, was it uh, maybe three years ago, five years ago? No. Did I understand right that at Nera for seven years? No. I was a little influenced by uh, all snaps for a few years ago. <laughs> they did 40 times 60 meters with uh, Gail Muen. And uh, we, we didn't run so many races, but I agree with to you. Uh, it, it could be too short to, to uh, develop the maximum speed. I, I'm not saying that. I asked <coughs> from you. Yeah, but we're not to do it. Thank you. We at the most four minutes. <coughs> hey, do you have any other questions? Thank you for the interesting presentation. I'm interested about Thomas inside. How active he was between 10 and 15 years old? What, what he was doing? Yes, what he, he he's uh, always been very active. He uh, told me he was every day out playing football with uh, uh, like the team of these before. When the Nazi thing by the computers, so they, they were out playing, running, playing football and all that. He don't have exactly uh, measured how much he was, but he, he did a lot. He also played football in the team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was very impressive presentation and uh, maybe we give something more. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Espero que me haya ayudado. 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 Espero que